the price of stock A of X over a 10 month period increased and then decreased according to this equation, where X is the number of months. The price of stock B increased according to this equation. Part A says solve the system and list the two solutions. Round to the nearest hundredth. So could we set these equal? Absolutely, and do this algebraically. It just may be a lot of work. So when you have a calculator available, I'm going to plug them in. And I'm going to graph and see, can I see where they cross? Well, I can see one answers here. I'm going to change the window so I can see where the second solution would be. So I need to move it further to the right and up. So further to the right, I'm going to try going to 20. I need to go up more. Let's try 30. There's one answer and there's the second. So part A says to solve here. Solve the system. That means where do the two equations cross? Where are they equal? So I'm going to use the arrow here and I'm going to go down, enter, enter over the top. So one answer says to round to the nearest hundredth is negative 3.25, negative 7.44. Second trace, intersect. The second answer is 7.59 when rounded and 22.36 when rounded to the nearest hundredth. Reminder that this X represents the number of months and the Y is then the price of the stock. And part B says when does the price of the stock over the same 10 month period equal one another? Well, if this is the number of months, we can't have negative months, which means really I can't consider this. We can't have negative months, and they're only talking about the first 10 months. So this answer, which represents months and the price of stocks, cannot be considered. It's an extraneous solution. You can't have a negative number of months. So there is only one answer, and this says that the two, the price of two stocks, both A of X and B of X, um, are equal after about seven and a half months and this was the price when they are equal.